All right, guys. Now we're going to um, work on this muzzle device. Going to uh, cut these tines off. Turn down these uh, suppressor threads that are already on here uh, that are for the proprietary uh, Serbian military uh, suppressor for these. And then we'll probably cut in a little relief groove here and thread this 5 8 24 so we can put any uh, 762 type uh, muzzle device on here that we want. Uh, as I said previously, I have another one of these that I'm going to keep stock. And uh, so that way, if I decide later I don't really care for this anymore, I can always just put a, put one of these back on and it'll be good again. Uh, so to do this, to get in the lathe, I made this little, this little piece up, which is just an old piece of a PSL barrel that came with a, uh, a gas block and stuff that uh, I got for another video actually uh, heads up on that which will be on uh, tapping a PSL gas block for set screws so you can run a suppressor or even just run any ammo so that'll be coming shortly so piece barrel turned down on both ends so that it'll run concentric this end will be the side of the goods into the check and then we'll press and I'll probably pin this even onto here so to make sure it's not going to slip so then when it's in the chuck this will be what rotates all right so I'm going to cut the tines off of here I'm probably not going to film it I mean it's just I'm just going to use a hacksaw and cut right at this step where the uh, slots for the flash hider end I mean you could if you have one of these you can see it it's a definite step here so I'm just going to cut it off there I'll press it into this, pin it, and then we'll come back when it's ready to go on the lathe. All right, there we go. Cut it off with the hacksaw, just like that. Pressed it onto the little knob we made here. And let me tell you, this this hurt me a lot to do. Uh, I know that you know there's tons of these out there, well, maybe not in the U.S., but yeah, I know Serbia still makes these front sight blocks and everything, but man, that still that still hurt me to cut. But it's done, so uh, I didn't pin it. I'm gonna see how it does without doing that, without pinning. Now, if it spins or anything, then I'll go ahead and pin it again, but or pin it in, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna put this in the lathe and start facing it and turning it down. All right. Uh, it's in the chuck. Got a new chuck, by the way. Still a buck adjust true, but the newer style with the removable jaws. I know, no one cares. But anyway, uh, got it chucked up. So now I'm going to face it, and then I'll change, I'll probably change your uh, view here, and then we'll turn these threads down and get to threading. needs a little bit more.
looks really good. Okay. So now we'll turn these other threads off. Okay. Got it in the truck. Uh, I have a stop set up on the bed of the uh, lathe so that uh, I don't crash into the tower here. Uh, still a possibility of that if I'm not paying attention. So let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's get going here. to get those threads off not all the way there yet definitely need to bring this tail stock up I think all right. now that's gonna present its own problems here yeah okay. well Oh no, that should work. Okay. threads are gone surface finishes crap so let's uh... switch to a high-speed steel bit here and all right got a high-speed steel bit in here readjusted my uh, carriage stop and we'll see how this goes now Much, much better. Okay. So now, take a measurement here. Point six eight nine. So point six eight nine minus point six two five sixty four thousandths. So we've got sixty four thousandths to go. So I'll take a we'll go uh, fifty thousandths. And then we'll uh, start sneaking up on it with the high speed bit again. The carbide should be able to take the heavier cut a lot nicer. And I need to adjust this again. Maybe 
that was a little too much. <laughs> uh, these, uh, oh, these are some nasty buggers. Yeah, I think that was a little, a little much. Finish is nice though. I mean, except for that little rub where the chip scraped on it, but. All right. Very, very smooth. Point six three eight. Point six three eight minus point six two five. So thirteen thousandths left to go. We'll take uh, maybe ten. We'll probably go back to the high speed steel again. Take ten, measure, and then a three. Uh, with this lathe, I don't. I like to just I like sneaking up on it because every time it seems when I try and go in a single pass, it overshoots it every time. And definitely don't want that, so let's put this back in. That should work. Let's come up to this edge. Again, adjust our stop here. Chip there. Okay. Let's. do this. Never mind, we're rubbing on the live center. Uh, let me change live centers here, I'll be right back. Alright, got the new live center in, it's uh, a lot narrower in profile, so it allows me to get the bit up in here without rubbing against it. So let's do that now. cutting and then stopped like got pushed back hmm, interesting I'm sure I messed up all right locked backlash taken up Much better now much much better when you actually do it correctly all right so. all right 
0.623. So overshot it a little bit, like I said, and I seem to always do. But that shouldn't be an issue at all. So we'll uh, put a relief groove here. And then we'll uh, put a relief groove in here. We'll chamfer this edge. And then we'll start threading. Let me get set up for that. Okay, I've got the um, parting tool in to put a relief groove back here. Um, I would rather not use one, but with this tower here, I mean, even right here, that is dangerously close to smacking this thing. With the threading tool, I wouldn't even get be able to get this close to there. So I'm going to put the uh, relief groove in there, and then we'll uh, start threading. what yeah that would probably work oh that is scary all right i got a bit of a groove or uh yeah a little groove gone uh i had to put it in back gear and do it I know a lot of people say that they solely uh, do grooving and cutoffs in back gear. I don't typically, and it works perfectly fine, but I guess in this instance that's what was needed. So I got a little groove here to uh, do my thread in. I don't know if it'll be deep enough. I don't want to go so deep because this, I mean, this isn't that thick. So um, we'll try it and we'll see see how it goes. Um, and that's another thing with threading. I don't know what position really I'm going to be able to get you in to see that very well because uh, on the other side of this lathe is a wall. So I can't, it'd be easy just to put you on the other side of it, but I can't. So we're going to, I'll try and play with some angles here and we'll see what works. So we'll get to threading here next. Okay, we got the machine set up to cut 24 threads per inch. Uh, we got the threading tool on center height. Uh, I've got a stop here to make sure I don't uh, strike the tower. I've got pretty, plenty of room here uh, to run into, so it should be okay. Uh, I'm going to bring this up. And... Oh yeah, we got plenty of room here, so uh, I have it in, have the machine in back gear. Uh, in fact, let me change the speed to the slowest one here. I'm probably knocking the camera because the tripod's in the way of the door here. Okay, let me make sure. Oh, whoops. Okay. Now it's in back gear. Make sure my pin's pulled out there. It is. Okay, good. All right. So we'll get set up here, and we will take our first scratch pass. Let's... Again, be a good idea to put the back gear lever in. I'm just f***ing up like crazy. but and it is on 24 threads per inch so we are good to go there let's keep going
sticking with the same number. I know with an even with an even thread you can pick any number or line, but I just stick with the same number and it gives me peace of mind that it's going to be right. So this may take a little longer than normal. Just paused a minute so I can grab the uh, muzzle uh, muzzle brake I'll be putting on here. Uh, it's a where are we at? Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, destructive or damn. Why am I blanking now? Oh crap. Anyway, I'll put the I'll put the name of it uh, up on the screen of the company where I got it. It's ba it's very inexpensive. I got it on sale for New Year's, I think for thirteen dollars with free shipping. So it's a two port muzzle brake with uh, one by twenty threads on the outside here for suppressors. That's the uh, same thread as like Griffin armament and stuff. It doesn't have the taper, but uh, when I do uh, form one suppressors I like to stick with that thread but so that's what I went and grabbed so we will continue That is really nice. File the tops of these threads and put the chamfer on it and that there's like very, very little wiggle in there. Very nice, just how I like it. So goes all the way up to the shoulder. Nice. Alright. careful because the tower right there don't want to smack my fingers. Oh. 
yeah, that's that's a bit sketchy right there. Well, Right there where the thread ran in to the gutter it wasn't quite deep enough so it rubbed a little bit so we'll take care of that but that's not not a big deal though there we go and it's just it's like clocked perfectly so when i put some uh, crush on this it'll be completely vertical uh, up and down aligned so that is really good right there cool so there you have it i mean not much to it uh, well i say that but had like the worst luck ever doing this thing i swear i'm far more competent than that this just Man, I don't know what it, what it is about tonight, but um, let me take this out and we'll get a closer look. All right, there we go. Looks pretty damn good to me. Nice and concentric. Uh, I indicated it, and it was running within like less than a thousandth, so that's pretty good in my opinion. Break. threads on oh come on focus stand here there you go again I don't know even know if you can hear it very little wiggle comes up and tighten it and it'll be indexed perfectly so there we go uh, easy project I mean if even if if you're not comfortable threading on the lathe you could always uh, turn it down at least and then use a 5 ace 24 die to cut this and that way too you wouldn't have to do the gutter but uh i always single point thread whenever i can it's good practice and it's just it's concentric it's nice and line and no chance of skewing it getting off center and anything like that so especially since this will be for mounting a suppressor at some point so yeah so that's it uh, we'll be back when we install this on another, well, pr I'll probably just install this on the barrel off camera. I didn't show any installing any of the other components. So, uh, install this, drill and pin it. When that receiver gets back, hopefully I'll have this thing together. Uh, the last video will, will, uh, planning at this point, planning on two more videos. One will be mounting the bipod and then the other will be it all together blasted refinished and going to the range so hopefully we'll get this done uh, this century all right thanks guys